Hey guys, it's the Hypey Man here, just another video. In fact, this is going to be my first commentary, so, um, I'm gonna. I, I've picked this game of headquarters because, well, it's. I've got my first Moab in it, my first MOAB. But, at the beginning, it goes to a bad start. Um, my friend Bradley gets a nice multi kill there, triple the javelin, and then he gets a Scar L kill, so that is just beautiful. Nice, nice multi to start off the game. But this is not what we're going to talk about. Today we're going to talk about um, how I went to London um, to compete in, in a Nintendo event. Um, what I did is, I pretty much went to Oxford Street, I believe, yeah, Oxford Street. I went to game. Um, pretty fun, pretty good actually, because I, what I did is I played New Super Mario Brothers um, on the Wii, because that was obviously part of the competition. And I'm going to tell you guys now, I'm not only a Nintendo, no, not only an Xbox gamer, so there you go. Um, yeah, so I went I went to Oxford Street, completing this Nintendo event, which was just to get the most coins in New Super Mario Brothers, which went towards the final. The final was held in, um, I think it's Mole Tower, the Mole Tower. Um, but yeah, I'm going to tell you how... I'm going to tell you how I went along the story. It's so pretty much I took... I went with my mum, I took the underground. Or I took a various amount of trains. Eventually I got to Oxford Street. Um, we went in there, it's pretty much... There's this massive billboard. There's a massive sign outside. Saying, here, compete for this competition. I'm like, hell yes. I'm, I'm ready for this. Okay, I, I am ready for this. So yeah, um... Uh, so I went in. People queued up just to try it, just to try getting the most coins in Mario Brothers. But what you had to do is you had to go against someone else. So there's like these two lines. I lined up in one and um, I was just waiting. I was just waiting there. I was like, okay, I'm a bit nervous, but we'll see how it goes. Sorry to interrupt. But anyways, the um <laughs> the reason I did that fast swap thing, and also I was doing really bad at the beginning is because I wanted to complete that challenge, which is why you just saw me with the pistol like millions of times switching and switching back to the story um pretty much what i did is i went against this guy he's he's like 30 he's like between um 20 and 30. he was quite bad well no offense to him but he was quite the bad person he wasn't bad but he just didn't he was, he was a casual gamer he wasn't like me he was just a hardcore gamer so i thought okay this guy is easy i'm gonna i'm gonna keep my cool and we'll see what happens so pretty much what happened is we played three maps, uh, which was the first, like two from the first world, and one was like on this. this uh, if you guys play New Super Mario Brothers Wii, you know what I mean, because you'll be like, yeah, the the bones, the um, the stage where you're riding on the dinosaur bones at the back, and, like there's lava everywhere. So um, yeah, there's lava on the ground. So if you fall down, you die. So yeah, that's the really hard one, the last one. But the first two are very easy. The first one was in like set in World One, and the second one was like set in World Five with ice and stuff. No, World Three, I believe. Um, so what I did is I pretty much what I did. I just played and played, and I did really well at the first one. I got like 200 points. I thought this was going to be easy, and the guy next to me was like, "Why are you so good? Not so good, but he was quite surprised how well I was doing against him." And he was like, I think I have some challenge. So what we did is we went... So after that, we went into the second game. The yeah, second second map, which was World 3, the ice one. This was scrolling upwards, so you had to get the coins as you were scrolling upwards. Um, so I was like, okay, this is going very well. I can do this. Okay, just don't... Just don't mess up. Um, so I didn't mess up on that one. Second one I was doing really well. I had like 500 coins in like only two maps, and I was like, oh my, there's like there's like 600 coins for first place. If I do like 100 or more, I'll be first in London. It's actually quite surprised how well I was doing because I was against somebody who didn't play too much. And um, so yeah, uh, that's what pretty much happened. So then here's where here's where my dream gets crushed. Because the main prize was to go to America for a trip for four. So I thought, you know what? As my dream is to go to America. To go look at everything in America. Oh my god. 
I've always wanted to go to America since I was five, so I thought I might enter the competition. I might have a chance. Here we go. Let's do this. Last stage. Don't mess up. Oh. Now, my friends, do not, and I repeat, do not get cocky over video games because this is where I went downhill. Pretty much what we did is, um, oh, uh, we played we played the last one, which was the fire one at the bottom, and what we did is, um, we. We pretty much were like, okay, this is cool, just stay on the dragon, don't die, jump over the lava as it spits up. This is a quite a hard course, this is very hard to master. But the thing is, um, I was really cocky, because um, the guy died, pretty much the guy fell off the lava, so I was the only one left. And you know, you know if somebody dies and you have to like, um, bring them back in a bubble, they'll, they'll come in a bubble and you have to pop them. And I thought... Okay, as as the guy is there, as the guy is not there, I'm gonna pop the bubble just in case I die, and he can get me. I know I know this game is not exactly meant to have co-op, like you're not meant to help each other, you're meant to go against each other. But if you both died, the game is over. If you both die, the game is over. <laughs> um, I don't know if you just saw that explosion there in the game, but my friend jumped in jumped in front of somebody's javelin and it killed him. Oh, he so just got trolled. Anyways, um, yeah, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I, uh, what I did is I went for coins on the high bit. It was going upwards, so I was like, okay, I'm going to jump for the coins, jump for the coins. And the guy wasn't there. I was, he was still in his bubble because it was right at the bottom of the screen. I couldn't get him, so I was like, okay, if I just get these coins, get these coins at the top, and I get the guy, it will be fine. What happened was I went too far on the coin, I went too far on the dragon. I slipped, I fell in the lava, and it was game over. And I was like, oh, shizzle, shizzle, I messed everything up. So what I did is, oh my god, I messed everything up. I basically fell off that and effed up everything, so I got like 50 coins. And that put me to fifth in the whole of London. I suppose I'm quite proud of myself for becoming fifth when I was only 13 when I did this. But the disappointment of my dreams being crushed just because I was cocky enough to just, you know, be like, okay, if I get these coins faster, I'll, um... I'll have enough coins, you know, to win. I don't know if that makes sense, or it doesn't, but just being cocky in general, I'll be like, okay, get these coins quickly. But no, I went too far and I died. I was so annoyed. So, so annoyed. <laughs> but but then we had a backup plan, although it didn't work. Um, my mum was telling me, oh, just tell them, just tell them that you died and you didn't know how many coins you got so you can have another go. And I was like, okay, it's bad to lie, but we are talking about America here, guys. A chance to go to America. So what I did is I was like, oh, shizzle, oh, shizzle, shizzle, shizzle. Okay, um, I died. I didn't know how many coins I got. And then the guy I was playing with was like, um, I don't know how many coins I got. I think I got like 20-something. And I got, and I was like, um, oh, I don't know how many coins I got. And the guy and the guy just said, didn't you have like 70-something? Because I had like, um, I had like 70, I had 79, I believe. And for some reason I can remember that. Um, uh, I was like, um, no, I didn't have 79, and then the guy just said, alright, you had 79, you had that, and that was pretty much it, guys, my dream, my dream, oh, it went, because I was so cocky, everyone, this is the moral of the story, if you want to accomplish your dreams, take it steady, do not be cocky, just, just seriously, don't be cocky, because that will just, oh, I regret being cocky, so pretty much don't be cocky when it comes to video game competitions. Stay focused, stay firm, and pretend you're going against someone that's really hard. Even if they're like really easy to be. Just be firm and on your spot. And yeah, that is my lesson. That is my story about my Nintendo competition in London. It was pretty interesting. And afterwards, I was placed fifth. I was, I was happy, but I was quite disappointed at the fact that I had I couldn't... I couldn't have another go as well, which just made me annoyed. I was like, ugh, I'm stuck fifth. And pretty much to get into the finals, you had to become second or higher. And there was, I believe, eight of these around the UK. So the top two of each UK, um, not UK place, but yeah, each place in the UK, you would get a, um, what is it? You would get 16 people in the finals, which was held in London Mill Tower. Um, 
but yeah, I did not get into the final, I came fifth, but um, in my next commentary, I'm going to tell you more, oh god, let me just put the light on this, there we go, sorry, I was like, it just went because I haven't touched the controller for a while, but yeah, anyways, that's my commentary about how, um, how I went to London, my friend got a nice triple there with a pred. Anyways, that was my story about how I went to need, how I went to London, competed in a Nintendo tournament, and I came fifth. And do not repeat, do not be cocky, because I'll get you nowhere. So that's pretty much end of the story. Sh quick notes: I went to London from the underground, got to Oxford Street. I went in the store. I was like, okay, let's do this. I played the game. The first two levels, I thrashed his ass at getting the most coins, and then the third one, I was I was doing really good, but I died um, by falling into the lava, and that pretty much messed up all my dreams of having a chance to go to America. But yeah, um, I'm gonna just leave you to the rest of the commentary now because I think this is where I get my Moab. Um, yeah, roughly this part I get my Moab. Um, this was my first Moab ever. Oh, this made me have such a nice feeling, and not that, fe not the nice feeling in your pants. But here we go, guys. Here's the Moab. I got it legit without even realizing. I was so happy. I was knifing the air. I was telling all my friends. I was. I should be in Anarch's top ten freakouts, dude, because that was just immense. How I freaked out. I killed him. Look at this epic. Just I just knifed the air just casually. Get the nice multi kill too. I was so happy, I was like knifing for a minute. <laughs> Not really, as you can see. Got the challenge to survive for five minutes as well, which is quite good. But yeah, um, that's my first Comet Cherry, and also this is my first Moab. I was so happy. Although we did lose the headquarters game, as I'll just let you see it here. Um, it was very close, it was tied 360 to 360. But. I pretty much did, I pretty much killed that guy, this guy, but I died here somewhere. This guy had a striker, I believe. Yeah, striker. Nothing new, just another day. I knifed the air. I knifed the air for my amazing streak. And I think the game ends soon. Um, I might just talk some more rubbish. Maybe about the game. Oh yeah, I think we lost because I, I was capturing the headquarters, but then I think somebody got me. Um, because obviously the score was 400. By the way, I apologise for my awkward angles. I have no idea why I left then. But yeah, then my um, I don't th I don't think we get the headquarters in time. Um, I think they get it. I think there's one guy capturing from the other team. I believe I tried to kill him, but I didn't. Yeah, and then he comes in and captures, and then as as the thing goes up by ten every time, uh, we didn't have time to um. We didn't. We didn't have time to uncapture it. Me and my friend here tried to to try and headquarters. Three ninety score. But look at that, epic fail. But yeah, that was a pretty standard game. I got forty five to fifteen. That is exactly a ratio of um of three. Um, my friend Camzor, Constrictor, and Brad. All, all these people on my team are my friends. Um, so yes, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed our amazing ratios, mostly me and Cam, mostly me and Camzor. <laughs> also, I'm sad enough to be Prestige five, level sixty six. But right now, I am Prestige five, level seventy, going to six, and I'll be going all the way. So yes, guys, I really hope you enjoyed my first commentary about hmm, Nintendo competition. And in my next video or next commentary, I'll explain how I got. Um, sorry, how I got in invited to watch the final, and I'll explain how amazing day that was. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching my commentary, and I'm out. I'll see you later. Goodbye for now.